In this video, I'm going to show you how to create what's called a group in MemberPress. This lets you group memberships together on your site and create a pricing page so people can compare your plans and buy them. I'm just going to give you a basic rundown in this video, but for more in-depth information about MemberPress groups, visit our knowledge base. So this simple pricing page here is what I'm going to create using a default pricing page theme in MemberPress. I'll also add an item on my navigation menu that says Sign Up, which you see here. Okay, so right now here's my site. It's a sample baking membership site. There isn't a pricing page or a sign up link on my navigation. And you can see here under Members Only, I have some content that's protected. So going to my WordPress dashboard, I'll go to Member Press and Rules, and you can see I have some rules set up to protect my recipes, videos, and course. And if I go to my memberships, I can see the two memberships I have set up on my site. So now to create my group, I'll come down here to Groups and click Add New. And then I'll give it a name that indicates what memberships are going to be a part of this group. So in my case, Basic and Pro. Then I'll come down here to Group Options. The first thing I'm going to do is select which memberships are a part of this group. So here under Memberships, I'll select my basic membership and click the plus sign icon and select Pro. And you'll want to order these by membership level. So in my case, my basic plan is the least expensive option with the least amount of features, and then my Pro plan is a little bit higher. And you can drag and drop them here to change the order. Now the next option you see is Upgrade Path. Enabling this will mean that users can only be subscribed to one of these memberships at a time. And if you leave it unchecked, users can be subscribed to multiple memberships simultaneously. I'm going to enable this so members have to upgrade or downgrade to change their subscriptions. And checking Reset Billing Period will reset the billing period when a recurring membership is upgraded. This option only has to do with recurring memberships. So say somebody on my site buys my basic plan on March 1st. But then on March 15th, they upgrade to my Pro membership. If I check Reset Billing Period, their new billing date will be March 15th. And the Downgrade Path option lets you select which membership you'd like a user to default back to if their subscription to any membership in this group becomes inactive for whatever reason, like from a lapsed payment, failed payment, or their subscription expires. Now, for this option to work, you must have the Upgrade Path option set. If the Downgrade Path option is set to default, then the user won't be placed into another membership automatically. And just a note, this automatic downgrade will always be free, even if the membership has a price. So it's recommended that your Downgrade Path membership is a free membership level. So for my site, I'm just going to leave this set to default. But if I wanted to, I could create a free membership level with very limited access to content, and then select that here. The next thing you see is Disable Change Plan Pop-Up. I'll show you what this is later in the video. Now these options here pertain to the pricing page for the group. MemberPress comes with a bunch of default themes that you can use. For my example, I'm going to select this Clean theme here. And these options here for custom CSS classes are a bit beyond the scope of this video, but you can modify this pricing page theme further with custom CSS. Also, if you wanted to, you can select Disable Pricing Page and not use the pricing page that MemberPress generates for you. If you just check Disable Pricing Page and nothing else, when a user goes to your pricing page link, which I'll show you in a moment, it'll just come up with a 404 error. Here, under Alternate Group URL, is where you can paste a URL for your custom pricing page if you don't want to use the pricing page that MemberPress generates. You could, for example, create a new page on your WordPress site and then use a page builder like Elementor, Divi, or Beaver Builder, or something like that, to create a custom pricing page, and then link it here. For some further customization, if you click Group Price Box Shortcodes, you'll see a couple shortcodes that you can use. This will display the price boxes which we're about to generate, on either this pricing page for the group, or on another page, post, or custom post type on your WordPress site. I'll show you how to use these in just a minute. So I'm going to disable Disable Pricing Page. And once I have all this set, I'm going to come up here at the top and click Publish. And you'll see here the URL generated for my pricing page. Now this plan slug here can be changed in your MemberPress settings. And it generates this other part of the URL based on my name. Now this basic and pro section, I can click to change it by clicking edit here and changing this part of the URL. But I want to keep it as is, so I'll just leave it. So I'll open my link in a new tab. 
And here's what it looks like so far. Pretty basic. Now, before I modify what's in these boxes here, I'm going to show you a couple of the options that we went over. If I come down here to Group Price Boxes Shortcodes, I could use this first shortcode to add content above or below my pricing boxes. So I'll highlight this and click Copy. Then up here, I'll just add some sample text. And then I'll paste the short code here. And then I'll add some sample text below. Now, if I click Update, you can see it saved the text here. And then if I go back to my pricing page and hit Refresh, you can see the text above and below the pricing boxes. Now, going back to the Group Edit page, I'll get rid of this. And going back down to Group Price Boxes Shortcodes, you could do the same exact thing on any other WordPress page, post, or custom post type by using this shortcode here. So just to show you that briefly, I'll copy this shortcode. And then first I'm gonna click Update to make sure I saved everything. And then I'm gonna to go to Pages here in the left sidebar and click Add New. I'll give this page the name of, say, Sign Up. And then I'll type some sample text and paste that short code here like this. And I'll click Publish. Then I'll click to view this page in a new tab. And you can see it here, my new page slash sign up with my sample text and my price boxes. So I'll go back to WordPress, go to Member Press, Groups, click to edit my group, and then now I'll show you this other option here, Disable Pricing Page. I'll click to disable it, and then here I'll paste the page I just made. Then I'll click Update. And then now if I open my pricing page URL, you can see here that it redirects to the signup page that I created. Now, going back to my group edit page, I'm going to disable this and then click update. Next, I'm going to show you how to edit what's in each individual price box. You can do this per membership in the membership edit page. So, going back here, I'll go to memberships and click to edit my basic membership. Then scroll down to Membership Options and go to the Price Box tab. And here's where you're gonna edit and add stuff to the price box. I wanna keep the title as basic and the pricing display, you have a number of different options you can use. Auto, not to show a price, or to add a custom one. Going back to my page, I like how this looks here, $10 a month. So I'm just gonna leave it set to Auto. Under the heading text, I'm going to give some basic information about who should buy the basic membership. And then here under benefits, I'm going to list what content members get with the membership. So for my basic plan, they get recipes and videos. And I'm going to leave the button text as sign up and the footer text I'm going to leave as is. Then I'll click update to save it. And then I'll go back to Memberships and click to edit my Pro Membership. Then I'll come down to Price Box, keep the pricing display as auto here, change my heading text, and then under Benefits, I'll say Everything in Basic and Courses. And up here, I'm going to select Highlighted. This will add the most popular text on this individual price box. This could help the nudge users to purchase this plan over my other. Then I'll click Update. Now, if I go back to my pricing page and hit Refresh, here's what it looks like now. Next, I'm gonna show you how to add this pricing page to your site navigation menu. So right here, I want a link that says Sign Up. And when users click it, they'll be taken to my group pricing page right here. So going back on the left sidebar, I'll go to Appearance and Menus. 
and you can see my site menu here. Here on the left, you'll see an item for groups. If you don't see this here, come up to screen options here at the top and make sure groups is selected. Then I'll click to expand groups and I'll see my group pricing page, basic and pro. I'll select that and click add to menu. And you can see that it's added to my menu. I'll click and drag it right here and then I'll expand it. And then here under navigation label, I wanted to say sign up. This is the actual link text that will appear on your site. And if I hover over this link here, you can see here at the bottom that it shows me what URL this is actually directing to, which is my group pricing page. Then I'll click save menu and see that it's been saved. Now, if I go back to my site and click refresh, you can see the sign up link added to my menu. I'll click on it and you can see that it's my group pricing page. I'll go back to the home page and then click on it again and it takes me to my pricing page. Now, going back to the WordPress dashboard, I'll go to MemberPress, Groups, and click to edit my group. And the last thing I'm gonna show you in this video is the change plan pop-up. To do that, I'm gonna open my site in a new incognito window, so I'm not logged in as my site's admin. Then, I'm gonna log in as a test user account that I have that's subscribed to my basic membership. And then once I'm logged in as the test user, I'll come to members only and click account. This is the user's MemberPress account page, which MemberPress creates for you by default. On this page, users can see and change their personal information, their payments, see their courses and subscriptions and more. Again, this page is generated automatically by MemberPress. See your knowledge base for more information about the account page. If I come down here to subscriptions, you can see the test user's active basic subscription here and some links here. If I click change plan, this is the change plan pop-up. It gives an easy to use interface for members to downgrade or upgrade their plans. In my case, there's only one membership to upgrade to, Pro, so that's selected by default. And I could choose select plan and I'll be taken to my registration page for my Pro membership. Now I'll minimize this incognito window and go back to my group edit page. And then now I'll check to disable change plan pop-up. Then I'll click update. And then I'll go back to my incognito window. And then as a test user, I'll go back to the account page, subscriptions, and click change plan. And instead of seeing the change plan pop-up, it takes me to my group pricing page. So this is just a nice option for you as a site admin to decide what your users will see when they go to change their plans. But for my site, I do want users to see the change plan pop-up. So I'll disable that and click update. And that's it. You've now seen how to create a pricing page in MemberPress. See our knowledge base for much more information about groups and pricing pages. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, be sure to like, subscribe, and check out our other videos that makes getting MemberPress up and running a breeze.